Environmental issues in Indonesia are associated with the country's high population density and rapid industrialization, and they are often given a lower priority due to high poverty levels and an under-resourced governance. Issues include large-scale deforestation, much of it illegal, and related wildfires causing heavy smog over parts of western Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore, over-exploitation of marine resources, and environmental problems are associated with rapid urbanization and economic development, including air pollution, traffic congestion, garbage management, and reliable water and wastewater services. Deforestation and the destruction of peatlands make Indonesia the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases. Habitat destruction threatens the survival of indigenous and endemic species, including 140 species of mammals identified by the World Conservation Union as threatened, and 15 identified as critically endangered, including the Sumatran orangutan. History and background For centuries, the geographical resources of the Indonesian archipelago have been exploited in ways that fall into consistent social and historical patterns. One cultural pattern consists of the formerly Indianized, rice-growing peasants in the valleys and plains of Sumatra, Java, and Bali. Another cultural complex is composed of the largely Islamic coastal commercial sector. A third, more marginal sector consists of the upland forest farming communities which exist by means of subsistence Sweden agriculture. To some degree, these patterns can be linked to the geographical resources themselves, with abundant shoreline, generally calm seas, and steady winds favoring the use of sailing vessels, and fertile valleys and plains—at least in the greater Sunda Islands—permitting irrigated rice farming. The heavily forested, mountainous interior hinders overland communication by road or river, but fosters slash-and-burn agriculture. Each of these patterns of ecological and economic adaptation experienced tremendous pressures during the 1970s and 1980s, with rising population density, soil erosion, riverbed siltation, and water pollution from agricultural pesticides and offshore oil drilling. <laughs> Marine pollution In the coastal commercial sector, for instance, the livelihood of fishing people and those engaged in allied activities roughly 5.6 million people—began to be imperiled in the late 1970s by declining fish stocks brought about by the contamination of coastal waters. Fishermen in northern Java experienced marked declines in certain kinds of fish catches and by the mid-1980s saw the worst virtual disappearance of the fish in some areas. Effluent from fertilizer plants in Gresik in northern Java polluted ponds and killed milkfish fry and young shrimp. The pollution of the Strait of Malacca between Malaysia and Sumatra from oil leakage from the Japanese supertanker Showa Maru in January 1975 was a major environmental disaster for the fragile Sumatran coastline. The danger of supertanker accidents also increased in the heavily trafficked strait. The coastal commercial sector suffered from environmental pressures on the mainland, as well. Soil erosion from upland deforestation exacerbated the problem of siltation downstream and into the sea. Silt deposits covered and killed once lively coral reefs, creating mangrove thickets and making harbor access increasingly difficult, if not impossible, without massive and expensive dredging operations. Although overfishing by Japanese and American floating factory Fishing boats was officially restricted in Indonesia in 1982. The scarcity of fish in many formerly productive waters remained a matter of some concern in the early 1990s. As Indonesian fishermen improved their technological capacity to catch fish, they also threatened the total supply. Topic: 
Topic: <inaudible> Air pollution. The 1997 Indonesian forest fires in Kalimantan and Sumatra caused the 1997 Southeast Asian haze. It was a large-scale air quality disaster. The total costs are estimated at $9 billion to health care, air travel and business. In 2013, the air quality in Singapore sank to its lowest in 15 years due to smoke from Sumatran fires. Singapore urged Indonesia to do more to prevent illegal burning. <laughs> Deforestation and agricultural pollution A different, but related, set of environmental pressures arose in the 1970s and 1980s among the rice-growing peasants living in the plains and valleys. Rising population densities and the consequent demand for arable land gave rise to serious soil erosion, deforestation due to the need for firewood, and depletion of soil nutrients. Runoff from pesticides polluted water supplies in some areas and poisoned fish ponds. Although national and local governments appeared to be aware of the problem, the need to balance environmental protection with pressing demands of a hungry population and an electorate eager for economic growth did not diminish. Major problems faced the mountainous interior regions of Kalimantan, Sulawesi and Sumatra. These problems included deforestation, soil erosion, massive forest fires, and even desertification resulting from intensive commercial logging—all these threatened to create environmental disasters. In 1983 some 30,000 square kilometers of prime tropical forest worth at least $10 billion were destroyed in a fire in Kalimantan Timur province. The disastrous scale of this fire was made possible by the piles of dead wood left behind by the timber industry. Even discounting the calamitous effects of the fire, in the mid-1980s Indonesia's deforestation rate was the highest in Southeast Asia, at 7,000 square kilometers per year and possibly as much as 10,000 square kilometers per year. Although additional deforestation came about as a result of the government-sponsored transmigration program in uninhabited woodlands, in some cases the effects of this process were mitigated by replacing the original forest cover with plantation trees, such as coffee, rubber, or palm. In many areas of Kalimantan large sections of forest were cleared, with little or no systematic effort at reforestation. Although reforestation laws existed, they were rarely or only selectively enforced, leaving the bare land exposed to heavy rainfall, leaching, and erosion. Because commercial logging permits were granted from Jakarta, the local inhabitants of the forests had little say about land use, but in the mid-1980s, the government, through the Department of Forestry, joined with the World Bank to develop a forestry management plan. The efforts resulted in the first forest inventory since colonial times, seminal forestry research, conservation and national parks programs, and development of a master plan by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. The use of fires to clear land for agriculture has contributed to Indonesia being the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases, after China and the United States. Forest fires destroy carbon sinks in old-growth rainforests and peatlands. Efforts to curb carbon emissions, known as reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation red, include monitoring of the progression of deforestation in Indonesia and measures to increase incentives for national and local governments to halt it. One such monitoring system is the Center for Global Development's Forest Monitoring for Action platform, which currently displays monthly updating data on deforestation throughout Indonesia. <laughs> Mining and the environment 
Byatt Bay has been used by PT Newmont Minahasa Raya from 1996 to 2004 as a tailings dumping ground for its gold mining activities. Topic: <laughs> Natural environmental hazards. Natural hazards include occasional floods, severe droughts, tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanoes and forest fires. Human activities can help cause or exacerbate these hazards. For Indonesia, coastal flooding and the rising sea level are viewed to be among the major risks posed by climate change. Notable environmental issues Byatt Bay has been used by PT Newmont Minahasa Raya since 1996 as a tailings dumping ground for its gold mining activities. Grasberg Mine Blast fishing in Indonesia Deforestation in Borneo Water supply and sanitation in Indonesia Sitram River, one of the world's most polluted rivers. See also Palm oil production in Indonesia Environment of Indonesia Orangutan Chemical equator